Hai hai semuanya, gue Zeno Masih balik lagi bersama gue main game Alfred Hitchcock Vertigo Terakhir itu kita udah mulai tahu ya Misteri-misterinya itu sebagian udah pada keungkap Kita ketemu si Faye itu ternyata Badannya ada di paling bawah jembatan dan dalam keadaan yang mengenaskan Terus sekarang kita masih mau cari petunjuk-petunjuk lain yang mungkin bisa nemuin si Esther Franklin terus kita bisa nemuin juga motifnya si V apa dan juga ada satu misteri lagi yaitu dimana anak-anak yang di kecelakaan mobil itu tidak pernah ditemukan mudah-mudahan kita bisa mendapatkan jawaban dari semua itu jadi kita langsung ke game aja ya Yuk. Sorry I always keep you waiting. Harley was still printing the Horowitz file for me. Whose file? Lisa E. Horowitz. One of the three women to rent a car at Wong's just before Faye popped up at Miller's place. And considering her age, the only one who could be our buddy. I asked Harley to get us some details on her. We could take a look at it, if you want. And I thought this only happened in movies. Welcome to my life. Would you rather take one last look at the board before reading her file? Do a run through of the investigation? Kita cek dulu kali ya papannya ya. Just in case, I'd like to take a closer look at it. Soalnya menarik banget nih. Okay. Petunjuk, petunjuk lagi. Banyak banget ya Mudah-mudahan bisa diklik semua Gua mau mulai dari Ed dulu Ed has several issues that are not usually seen together To start with the death of his family at the hand of his father, which contributed to his becoming the most cynical patient I've ever treated. Then, there's the repression of that trauma, spurred on by his Aunt Claire. And finally, somebody arriving who was capable of harnessing that trauma to intentionally drive him crazy. And is that the case? Is he crazy? Crazy is a very relative term, but if Faye's aim was to strip him of his sanity, she did not manage to do so. Hmm, kita nggak tahu ini tantenya ya si Aunt Claire ini dia baik atau enggak ya sebenarnya. Soalnya dari awal tuh dia di framing kayak dia punya tuh uh, dia punya persona yang jahat gitu. Terus sementara Ed ini kan dia nggak bersalah kan ya. Tapi waktu kemarin itu dia uh, sorry. Waktu si dokter Lomas ceritain apa yang ada eh, apa yang dia dapat setelah hipnotis si Ed kan tiba-tiba bisa langsung jalan gitu kan. Nah itu agak mencurigakan juga sih sebenarnya. Apa dia lupa atau dia eh, ya emang di bawah alam sadar aja bisa langsung jalan gitu. Itu masih belum tahu sih. Yang kedua gue pengen ngecek Samuel mungkin. We know yeah. for sure that the bullet that killed Samuel Franklin came from the gun found in Miller's wrecked car and which we now know was planted there by Faye. It's no secret that she wanted to frame Miller. So she may possibly be the murderer, but why did she kill him? What did Samuel Franklin do? What did he know? itu juga masih misteri sih apa hubungannya V sama keluarganya uh, keluarga Franklin ini kenapa dia bisa ucuk-ucuk ngebunuh Samuel next pengkabel cut 
The Franklin's Ranch has lousy cell phone service, so somebody cut their landline so they'd have no means of contacting anyone. The same night that Samuel Franklin was murdered, and just a few hours before Dennison called the police, claiming Ed Miller had tried to commit suicide at the Brody Canyon Bridge. Okay. Esther Franklin. Ini satu-satunya karakter yang belum pernah kita lihat dari awal ya. Penampakannya itu cuma ada di foto-fotonya doang. Pertama itu mungkin ya itu foto yang di rumah itu mungkin foto Esther sama si Ed waktu kecil. Nah yang kedua baru kelihatan di sini. Frankly, after four days of searching, I'm starting to lose hope. I really want to believe she's still alive, but. <sighs> gue nggak yakin sih. Tapi ya. Sebagai pihak otoritas kita harus selalu positif. Something tells me we'll find her. I hope so. Thanks. Okay, nextnya Barry Dennison. Fay paid him ten thousand dollars to help her execute the last part of her plan. Together, they pushed Ed's car into the canyon. Later, Fay dressed up as John Miller, waited for Dennison to wake Ed up, and pretended to jump off the bridge. But wearing a harness with a rope hooked to it, she hid right under the bridge. And put the disguise and the climbing equipment in the duffel bag, while Dennison made sure Ed didn't jump and called the police. Yeah, ini salah satu bagian yang gila sih menurut gue si Faye ini niat banget dia bisa merubah dirinya tuh jadi kayak si mamanya si Ed, terus berubah lagi dirinya jadi papanya si Ed. Itu niat banget sih. Makanya motifnya ini masih belum tahu apa dia. Tujuan dia ngelakuin semua ini. Next kita cek duffel bag. There was a men's suit in a bag we found under the bridge. Which Faye wore to look like John Miller. Who'd committed suicide by jumping off the same bridge. There was also a neuroleptic. Likely used to put Ed Miller to sleep. Rock climbing equipment, key to a vehicle we have yet to identify. Maybe it was her getaway car. Maybe. Okay. Oh, ini masih ada mobil yang hancur. Ini mobil siapa? Fay reenacted with total precision the accident in which. In which Mary Miller died, as well as her daughter. Ed Miller claims that his daughter, the new Jenny, was in the car. But the only evidence we have of her existence is a picture found on Faye's phone. On top of that, Faye wanted to make extra sure to frame Ed, so she planted a gun in the car. The exact same one that killed Samuel Franklin, and a bottle of whiskey, which is exactly what John Miller had been drinking before he killed himself. Okay. Dan dari semua benang merah ini, itu merujuk ke dua nenon ni, Faye, yang tubuhnya ditemukan di bawah jembatan. We know that on October 8th of last year, she showed up at Miller's house, slept with him, and vanished, only to show up a year later with a kid, Jenny, 
supposedly the daughter of Miller, who she's been gaslighting and drugging for weeks, disguised as his mother. Her motive? Revenge. But the thing that puzzles me the most is, why did her plan backfire? Did she just slip, and that's it? Did she get her revenge, and then decide to end it all? Or, what are we missing? Well, I'd say I've got a pretty clear picture. Let's look at the file. <laughs> Great. This is Lisa Horwitz, the day she graduated from Yale as a psych major, also as valedictorian. Anything come to mind? Mirapsin. Oke, okay. emang motif sederhananya itu revenge atau balas dendam. Tapi ya itu dia sih. Kenapa dia bisa seniat itu loh, gila. Ini udah jelas sih, mirip. Oke, okay, kita cek app dulu deh. Ada lagi. Faye told Ed that she just graduated as a psych major. So, it all adds up. This isn't her best picture, but it's pretty clear this could be the same person. Okay. Kita bisa lihat apa lagi kah? Oh, ada ini ternyata. Her studies would explain why she had knowledge of the narcotic effects of that drug, wouldn't it? Maybe. Let's see what the file says. Daughter of Peter and Marlene Horowitz. Not a middle class. They were well off. They both died when Lisa was a little girl. Should we stick the picture on the board or skip to the next one? Stick it. I can see a few connections here. You're the boss. She was orphaned at a very young age. Her story resembles Ed's. I guess her family's social standing explains why a 23-year-old girl would have $10,000 on hand to give to Denison. Right. Though, with everything she seems to have done, I wouldn't be surprised if she got the money through other, less legal means. How did her parents die? Could she have... No, no. Cancer. Colon and throat. Within the span of about two years. Now for the fun part. After her parents' death, she became depressed. Self-harm, suicide attempts. She spent several months in the New Jersey Psychiatric Hospital. Possibly the most expensive one in New England. Rings a bell. I think a patient of mine went there. Who was it? The night before she was going to be released, her best friend from the hospital got drunk and jumped off the roof of the building. Ya, tapi rekarnya belum nggak bisa dipencet. Kayaknya ini dibatasin. Kita harus pilih yang paling penting. Gue pilih papahnya deh. Jamu. Her friend got drunk right before committing suicide by throwing herself over the ledge. Like Miller's father. Jeez, why is everything so convoluted? Atau dia. 
did Ed Miller? After everything that happened to him as a kid, never go to a psych hospital? He almost did, but his Aunt Claire kept it from happening. She took him home to San Bernardino and essentially brainwashed him, burying most of his negative memories. Isn't it odd that her best friend from the hospital killed herself by jumping off a building and that she ended up the same way? Yes. Maybe she jumped too. Maybe she was trying to emulate her. But why? Okay. What are you looking for? Faye or Lisa Isn't it ironic that a former psychiatric patient would pursue psychiatry. It makes sense. A few people in my class had similar backgrounds. Some did it to get to know themselves better. Others wanted to give back, help people who had gone through something similar. When she was released, Lisa went back to New York under the guardianship of her paternal grandmother, Diane Horowitz, who a few weeks later fell down the stairs, breaking her neck. What do we do with this one? Stick it there or pass? Hmm. Move on. Let's move on to the next one. This is from a couple of years ago. A climbing wall in her neighborhood in New York. Pengennya gue nempelin semua sih. Tapi kayaknya ada keterbatasan. Siapa ini? Terus dicek. Oh, Another coincidence? There's no question. Lisa is our Faye. Hmm. What? You're still not sure. I've been wrong too many times not to have my doubts. And this is from a few weeks ago. Lisa Horowitz applied for a position as a psychiatrist in training at the only psychiatric hospital in our county, and she got it. She's supposed to be starting at the end of the month, though I doubt she will. Okay. Why would a wealthy young woman from New York with an outstanding academic record, want to work at a hospital with such a poor reputation and so far from home. The doctor who was assigned to Ed at the hospital before Robert Kerrigan hired me to treat him was quite inclined to admitting him to a mental institution. The mental institution where Lisa was going to work is almost certainly the same one Ed would have been admitted to. Are you saying that? That was the last part of the plan. Become his psychiatrist and torture him. Let's take a look at her medical record. She weighed almost nine pounds when she was born. At age 11, her appendix was removed. Hmm. What is it? Let me make a quick call, just to double check. Pat? It's Reyes. Remember the body we brought in uh, yesterday? The blonde girl? Ah, perfect. Can you tell me uh, if she has a scar? The kind you would have from getting your appendix removed? Pasti ada bekas ya sih. Are you sure? Wah. Wah. Okay. Thanks, Pat. What? I can't believe it. It it has to be her. It's her. But no. Gue juga sih sebentar ada bekas ya. No, no. We were so close. I'm sorry. That happens a lot. Wah. 
You think you have a bite? Just be tug at the line. And all you have to do is reel it in, bud. Just at the last minute. I wouldn't give it too much more thought right now. We should get some rest. He wasn't my patient. Who? What are you talking about? her friend's name, the one who committed suicide. Veronica Garrigan. Oh. Veronica Garrigan itu istri atau anaknya? Oh, selain kelih sih anaknya ya. Anaknya Robert. Most likely, yeah. Because there's nothing to fear. Let's wait together for the sun to show us the monster out here. They're gonna find me. You scared me to death. How'd you get in? I stole this from Mr. Fatbutt. What if he notices it's missing? Hmm, he got really sleepy all of a sudden. He'll be in bed for a while. If they catch you... I wasn't about to leave you all alone on your last night here. Are we best friends, or what? Besides, Veronica. I've got a surprise for you. Come on, follow me. Uh, but I'm not sure if. Are we best friends or not? Besides, you're not a patient anymore. They can't touch you. Uh, all right. But I have to finish writing my diary entry for today. It's my routine. It's your routine. I'll wait for you. Okay, kita bisa jalan-jalan ternyata. Yang pasti itu yang utama seharusnya. Change your tongue and you change. They let you wear earrings that aren't clip-ons? It's a reward. I haven't hurt myself in a long time. My grandma sent them to me. She's so sweet. You're so lucky. You know what? Take one. No, I couldn't. 
Are we best friends or what? I finished my interview. I'm gonna go pee and we hold on. I want you to have something of mine too. It's my lucky pendant. Nothing bad can happen to you as long as it's around your neck. Are we best friends or what? That looks so freaking cool on you. It's beautiful. All right, do what you gotta do, and I'll show you the surprise. Oh, tremble not, my dearest one, because there's nothing to fear. Let's wait together for the sun to show us the monsters not here. Let's see what we got. Starting tonight, you're my new best friend. Okay, then we can go Ini jendela merah, berarti ini Sinia Faze. Soalnya waktu itu pas Sinia si Faze dia kebanyakan background-nya merah. Why? No reason. Sneakers. Okay. Tapi mereka berdua size sama sih. Yang ini kayaknya nanti. Ibit Jobs. Can you see for myself?
ngejek lagi Hey, don't look. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> so. Berarti tinggal ini sih. Completely empty. That surprise. You sure you can't give it to me here? Positive. Uh, now I'm scared. What if you don't like it? Of course I'm gonna like it. This is so exciting. Wait for me here while I finish getting it ready, okay? At one point, I considered electrocuting you, but I need you to be disfigured from falling face first into the ground. Face to the ground. <laughs> How poetic. Mirip sama judul. This is the spot. Kuahnya kita eh kuah lagi. Kuahnya kita taruh mana nih? Kita bisa lari gue lupa. Bisa naik kah? Gak bisa. Udah, gak ada apa-apa lagi Tadi objektifnya apa aja Oke okay. Wow Oh ini Hmm, not here You wouldn't fall far enough If there's one thing I'm going to miss It's climbing therapy I know what I'm gonna do first thing when I get to New York
200 more. Then we aim for that one. Oke, okay, sepertinya sudah siap. Now? Hmm. Masih ada yang belum. Apa ya? Not here. You'd only fall one story. Still missing a few things. Mudah, ya? Oke, kita turun. Close your eyes and give me your hand. Don't open your eyes yet. Go ahead and sit down. Here. On the ground. Mm-hmm. Ready. Open your eyes and make a wish. I'm gonna miss you so much. Float. Seriously. Why did I meet you so late, when I already knew I was leaving? Wanna open up a little more? What's that? Consider it my way of saying thank you. For the best week of my life. But... Veronica, oh, come on. You're out of the loony bin tomorrow. It's your last chance to do crazy stuff. I've never, ever tried it. Ooh, are we playing Never Have I Ever? My turn to drink, then. Never have I ever... Mm. Been to New York? Been to New York. Cheater! <laughs> Guilty! 
It, well, you know. You get used to it. Your turn. Never have I ever kissed a boy. <laughs> what about a girl? <laughs> Veronica! <laughs> well, either way, really. Never have I ever... With my grandma? Lived with my grandma. Ha, <laughs> you're saying that because I told you I lived with my grandma before coming here. You've barely told me anything about her. <sighs> She's cool. I don't know. And now you're going to be living with her again? I want to know everything about her. And she's a cool grandma. She doesn't even look like a grandma. She goes up and down the stairs like she's rocky. But it's my turn. Never have I ever made my own breakfast. <laughs> you haven't? Back home, the maid did it. Here, who knows? Well, I've never made my own breakfast either, so I don't drink. Never have I ever... Had my own room? Had a room to myself. You haven't? But here... Here doesn't count. This isn't real life. <sighs> I had a really pretty room at my grandma's house. And now you're going to be living there again. Tell me everything about it. So yeah, it's a really sick house. New York is so cool. <laughs> my turn. Never have I ever... <laughs> Come here. I want you to feel the coolest thing you're ever going to feel in your life. I think I'm a little cold. Oh. Follow me. Take your shoes off. You'll grip onto the beam better. But I'm scared. What did we say? That this was my last night to do crazy stuff. Plus, not only am I your best friend, but also the best climber in this madhouse. Who would you be safer with? But I'm a little drunk. Give me your glasses. That way, you won't see so blurry. I'll be right behind you. Holding on to you. Each step you take will be like flying over everything that ever hurt you. Face to the ground. Look what you've done. I hate you. Because there is 
Jadi yang selama ini dikira Veronica itu si Luisa itu. I have to talk to Ed. Oh no. Apakah mereka ada bunga-bunga cinta? Ah tidak. Gak tau gue gak setuju aja mereka Wait, let me see if I'm following this All of the girls on this list are random hookups Or fans that may possibly have something against you With reason Oh no Oh no 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 way Oh, I was worried there. It's three pages long. Those are the ones I remember. I've lost contact with a lot of the others or forgotten their names. The number on the left is my guess for how angry they are, if that helps. Doesn't help, does it? Anyway, there was something important you had to tell me? I don't know what the best way to put this is, but... Ah. Why isn't Veronica Kerrigan on the list? What? Why are you asking? I know it sounds strange, but I need you to tell me about everything that happened. What is this? Don't let a single day go by without Ed telling me about some childhood trauma? Ed. Even with what she did to me, tarnishing her memory isn't what I had planned. She was completely off her rocker, but she was a kid and the daughter of a good friend of mine. Well, at least at the time. Trust me. Please. Only since I owe you one. Iya, sepertinya video kali ini sampai di sini dulu. Nanti kita lanjutin lagi ya. Uh, game kali ini sih gila banyak hal-hal mengujudkan. Gue sampai nggak habis pikir sih. Dan selanjutnya kita bakalan jadi Veronica seperti ini. Dan ini bakalan seru banget sih. Oke, okay, thank you banget semua yang udah nonton. Uh, kita sambung lagi di video selanjutnya ya. Udah.